This is Power to Excel with Dr. Sule Emanuel. Hello there, this is Sule Emanuel here. I'd like to share with you something quite profound for everyone who is in business, every business owner. I'd like to share with you something very important. The subject is doing business by the Spirit. Every Christian in business, every born-again child of God in business, this is going to help you. Doing business by the Spirit. It is important that you understand that when you do business by the Spirit, you enjoy the help of the Spirit. You enjoy the help of the Holy Spirit. When you do business by the Spirit, you won't fail like others. When you do business by the Spirit, you will enjoy a distinguishing grace in the business world. A major advantage that a Christian business person has is the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives. The presence of the great helper, the presence of the great comforter, the presence of the great teacher. So dear friend, if you're going to do incredibly well in business, you must learn how to use all your divine advantages to excel in business. First, you've got to discipline yourself to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit before you make any decision. Friends, I'd like you to understand this, that every day God is always speaking to us. He always wants to help us. So you've got to learn and discipline yourself to listen to Him every day before making business decisions, before making certain critical choices. You've got to learn to listen to God. We see very clear in the Bible how Jesus prayed before He chose His 12 disciples. He prayed before He chose the people He would work with. A critical question I want to ask you today. Do you pray before you hire your workers? Do you pray before you get more people to work in your organization? Or you just contact some HR organizations and you just put an advert out there for them to give you just about any person who has certain critical skills? Is that how you do business? Listen, dear friends, we must learn from the Jesus model. Before Jesus had to get people who would work with him to advance the assignment that was committed to his hands, he had to pray. It is important. Important we learn to do business by the Spirit. If you're going to do business by the Spirit, you must involve the Holy Spirit in everything. And I mean everything. Your life and your business should be that detailed that the Spirit of God is involved in every little detail of your life. Before you make that decision, you first consult with your teacher, which is the Holy Spirit. You first consult with the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Remember what Jesus said. He said, I will not leave you without the comforter. When he shall come, he shall guide you into all truth. The key point there, he shall guide you. Never make decisions without your guide. Don't just hire someone because they've got an impressive CV. Take time to pray about everything. Take time to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit about hiring any person. This way, you will be strategic in how to build an amazing team because the Holy Spirit is going to lead you, is going to guide you on the choices that you should make. I believe that by now, you already know that who and how you hire will either make or mar your business. Please, you must learn to hire by the Spirit. It is also very important, dear friends, that when you learn to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you will escape from all forms of manipulations and demonic traps that have been set by the wicked to pull you down. You see, there are people with all kinds of desires to take advantage of anyone and any place they are employed. There are others in the job market with all kinds of desires and negative foundations that you don't need around your business. So let the Holy Spirit be at the forefront of your hiring process and you will always make great choices. 
make it a discipline to involve in the Holy Spirit in all your decisions as a business owner. Let the Spirit of God be strategically positioned in your business's chain of command. Let it be clear to everyone around you how personal it is with you to consult and to confer with the Holy Spirit before making decisions. And also, dear friends, it is very okay to change your mind at the 11th hour without feeling guilty if you don't feel peace about certain things it is possible that you may have made certain decisions but you later got a different instruction or direction by the spirit it is okay to change your mind everyone around me knows that i can change my mind about something the moment i lose peace over that thing so friends, do your best to avoid regret. One mistake can destroy everything you've been trying to build. Let everyone around you know that you cannot please them against the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let everyone around you know that you've got a superior boss that runs your life and everything about you. Refuse to be under pressure to please any person against the voice of the Holy Spirit. Refuse to please any person against the voice of your instinct. When you learn to do business by the Spirit, you will prosper like a spirit. You become unstoppable. You become limitless, breaking limits, setting new records every time coming out every time with mind-blowing ideas and strategies and always looking like a mystery to anyone who wants to compete with you. It is time for you to start doing business by the Spirit. I believe you've been blessed. You've learned a thing or two from this clip. I want to encourage you to please take advantage of our other resources. Visit our website and take advantage of all our incredible resources. Visit www.suleemanuel.com www.powertoexcel.tv and www.drsuleonline.com The Lord bless you and have a great day, Father. Thank you for joining Dr. Sule Emanuel on today's episode of Power to Excel. We look forward to another inspiring moment with you next time. You can send an email directly to Dr. Sule Emanuel on info at suleemanuel.com. Till we come your way again, always remember, no matter what anyone is saying against you, so long as they are not God, their words will not stand. God bless you.